Okay. So, we're in the Meemaw residence. Meemaw. Uh. There we go. For some reason, it wasn't letting me move stuff out. Uh, okay, so we were going to get some farms and stuff going. We could go ahead and do that real quick. Oh, do we? I think we harvested some nitrate, right? Yes. We need clay and rotting flesh. Delicious. Okay, how many of these can we make? Two. Okay, we need a lot more rotting flesh. So we need to keep an eye on that as we move out. All right. So we'll just let those sit for now. Um, bandages, 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 bandages. Bandages need just cloth. Just cloth. All right, we we'll get some of that. Make like 10 of those. Uh, looking out here, we just got this going. This is loaded up and producing, which is great. This will be our water stuff, which we desperately need in this area. So we're going to chungus that along. Uh, I think we're ready to go do this quest. Yeah, I think we're ready to go do this quest. Stock that for now. All right, let's just get some aloe growing. Just temporarily pop some stuff out here. Oh, no. Where to put my farm blocks? There they are. There we go. Did I not enjoy PoE? No, loved it. The, the PoE League was fantastic. Yep. I really liked the build that Ziz made for us, and um, I, the League was one of the best I've played, I think. Yep. No, it was, it was fantastic. Okay. We need some liquid. There's that. Go drink some coffee. There's that. We made some lock picks. I think we're ready to go. Let's do it. Let's go, chat. Let's make it happen. We don't have any food, but we're going to do some salvaging, so. Hopefully we'll find some. Donde esta ma bicicleta? Donde esta? Ah, la bicicleta. And the storage is empty, even better. Okay, so we need to go to the rally point in the infested area, which is directly this way, and we're gonna follow the road. Let's go through here. We haven't actually ridden through here, so let's let's see if we can kind of go through here a little bit. And uh, then maybe take the road to the south there. No guts, no glory. You know it. The new Twitch app layout is weird. It is, which is why we have that. We have a mobile app for our channel and community and YouTube and all that stuff. And this is a great time to check it out if you absolutely hate the current Twitch update, which everyone does. So, something to consider. Yep. We've already fully explored this building here. All right, we're good there. Get the motorbike, it's a lot faster. I haven't gotten any motorbike components yet. None, no, at least not that I know of. And I don't think I have the required... Oh. Uh, I don't think I have the required other stuff as well. The other stuff being... Um, skill. I don't think I have the skill to do it. Oh, you can make them. Okay. 
What do you think about the Twitch, uh, the, t the timeline? I think the timeline is actually awesome, believe it or not. I think the idea of being able to quickly flip through Twitch streams and not have there be ads is big. I think, I think that's how you should be able to discover things on Twitch. I think making it, making that timeline the default thing you see every time you open the app shows a complete misunderstanding about what Twitch is. And that's a problem. So the thing about Twitch is that it's not TikTok. Like it, it, it's not, Twitch, Twitch is not a place where people always come here to look for new streamers. A lot of times people come to Twitch because they know the streamer they want is streaming and they want to watch that streamer. So the problem is that this little timeline thing that they made completely invalidates all of those second tiers of users. So like there's a lot of people that, that don't want to find new streamers. They don't care. They've already found the streamers they want and they want to use the app to watch them. And this most recent update basically was a giant middle finger to those people. And it's like, what are you thinking? Like Twitch, you're, that's literally your, you're the people that you have already won over. You are literally chasing away at this point. And that is, that is so unfortunate. Now, the reason I'm saying this is I love the timeline idea. When I am looking for a new stream, which happens all the time, when a new game comes out, or if I want to find someone playing a specific game or, you know, being able to sort by hype streams at the time, like the, the, there's a great place for that, for that timeline but it should be available when you're looking for new streams, not as the giant default thing. That's insane. <laughs> like Twitch is not TikTok. It never will be. People will never always come to the platform wanting to find new content. So yeah, it's just, it's, it's, it's a giant design flaw issue. And the, and the part that is the most concerning is it's very clear whoever signed off and designed the Twitch mobile app is not a regular Twitch user. And that's a problem. Like nobody who uses Twitch regularly would have signed off on that app. No one. So like even putting the follow button on literally the farthest point, like if you think about when people hold a phone, the top left and right corners, are, are the farthest point away from where you can easily hit. And that's where they put the button. That's where they put the button that you have to press to bring up your unsorted follow list. It's just like, like what are you thinking? Are you literally wanting people to not use your app if they don't want to find new streamers? Because that's what you're doing. <laughs> like that, like I've said it before, but I'll say it again. Steve Jobs is rolling in his grave when he sees the type of design that is allowed in apps like that these days. Like that is just insane. Here's another insane thing. When you're using, when you're using the timeline, there's no left and right. There's no, there's no, I don't want to see this content or I want to see it. It's not Tinder, right? So here's what's hilarious and really think about this. If you want to flag to Twitch that you're not interested in seeing a stream on your new timeline, you have to click a button to open the menu, click a click the button not interested, click an option on why you're not interested, and then click a button to confirm you're not interested. That's how you tell Twitch, I don't want to see that stream again on my timeline. Funniest part, Streams that are marked that way will still show up. And here's where it gets even weirder. To block a stream completely, you open the menu, click block, and then confirm. It is easier to block someone than to say you are not interested in them. It is easier and more intuitive to block a streamer entirely than it is to say, I am not interested in that streamer. Okay, I'm, I'm sure that makes sense in some bizarro backward ass world where design means nothing. Okay, <laughs> that's the same on the website. 
Yes, that's because the website is not set up for a timeline. If you're going to make a timeline, you need to set your environment up to utilize it, or you just half-ass it and the whole thing's a met. Oh wait, that's what's happening now. Oh no. <laughs> so <laughs> it's that it's that kind of situation, man. There there are, there are so many barriers that that app should have hit before being released. And it just soared over all of them and somehow got pushed out. And like, it's, it's just mind blowing. It's mind blowing. Yeah. Your bike being at 29% is stressing me out, Co. Yeah, I probably should repair that. Mm -hmm. But to be clear, I, I actually sent a message to Dan Clancy and I was, and, and it was, it was basically saying, pull the whole app. It's terrible. This needs to be redone. You need to get like a different team on this. Um, and, but he responded with some, with some specific feedback and he was like, okay, first of all, follower list sorting is coming and you will be able to see the titles on streams you follow in the future. That's great. We're getting, we're, you know, that's, that's some good stuff. Um, I think we all would have liked it to release with those features, but thank God this is not the end of this adventure. So hopefully we will uh, see that update very soon. Mm. Yep. Mm -hmm. uh, Yetant, it will do that. Yep, absolutely. And it should open right to that spot. No, that's exactly what it's supposed to do. If you don't have the Twitch app, it'll open it in your browser. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Dragon Watcher, pretty much. And it, it's just easier to do that. Like, and, and the weird thing is, is like, I've, I'm pretty sure I blocked a streamer and then he didn't show up in my timeline. But I know for a fact that I have said not interested to streams. <laughs> and still had it show up in my timeline. So at that point, it's just like, why, if you can't get things off the timeline, like what's even the point of the timeline? At that at that point, it's wasting your time, you know? So, yeah, needless to say, I'm not using the Twitch app right now. I am waiting for updates. Waiting for updates. Mm -mm. Oh, heck yeah, look at all this. Beautiful. Okay. Where'd I hear that roar from? Oh, hi. Yeah, Carter S, I think you're probably right. That's probably what's going on. They are obviously just giving people time to go, wow, Co's app is better, and we all just go to the Coalition app by the time it's fixed. I think that that's probably what's happening. I should have thought about that. Good call. So anyway, go get the mobile app. <clears throat> yeah. Mm. Okay. <laughs> there you go. All right. I don't know if we're going to have to clear these side buildings, but we're going to still take a look here. We're going to take ourselves a little look see. Good God, sir. You joik. Oh, beautiful. What's our cooking up to now? 28. Okay. Rude. Okay. Let's go ahead and grab everything here while we're here. 
get all that sweet th whoa cool <laughs> that didn't that didn't really work yeah okay looks like this house is the main one was oh, there a greenhouse in here what's going on here uh proverbs f that zombie in particular uh, TMN, I think Barry is working on some ways to get it onto older devices. Um, I, I think, I think he's looking at that now. Yeah. Boom. Whoops. Oh, dude. It is a big greenhouse. Ooh, hold up. Hold up. Okay, he did. Wait, chemistry set? Uh-oh, what were these boys doing? Were these boys growing the ganja? Did I did I just find me a grow house? Is that what's going on, Kyung? Oh, maybe not. No, they were just growing food, I guess. Oh, so boring. You know, I got time for food. Dead corn. That's too bad. Cool. Are you guys still seeing some screen tearing? I thought we fixed that up with V-Sync. Oh, oh, there we go. Hopefully it's a little better there. Just co partake in the marijuanas? Oh, unfortunately, I, I live in a state where it is not it is not legal. So Yeah. Unfortunate. Uh I can break you down. Okay. Oh, what is going on here? Nice, dude. Here we go. Um, let's drink you. Mining adds a small chance to mine rare gems from ore. That sounds like it could be good. Um, okay. I'm really good at balancing that stuff, apparently. Ew. Grabbing PBS, I like it. Let's drop you. Okay. Now the only kind of major downside here is that we're gonna we're about to clear all this again and have to reload it all. So, whoops. All right, now we gotta clear the area. Hi. Hi. Oh, hi. Oh. Good. Okay. Think we good. Whoa, that's not good. Hey, that's good. Okay. We have 
two points. I need ten for Spearmaster. I need ten for Lightning Reflexes. I could get Blessed. Or Parts Collector. Do Lucky Looter to start. Oh. You find weak spots in a target's armor with spears, archery, and other ammo. Wait, where's the spear stuff in this? Do, do spears have an eight target armor reduction? Is that how that works? Oh, hey, Princess Kitty Bling. Well, thank you, dude. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. How was my uh, how was my break, Dwight Speed? It was awesome. Oh, it means if we throw the spear. How do we even throw the spear? Okay, so maybe that maybe that's not what we're looking at. Maybe that's not what we're looking at then. Okay. Hmm. We'll start saving our points to max perception in the spear stuff because I am really digging our little spear adventure here, so. Do I have anything to eat? Eat a pumpkin. Oh, here we go. Obo stew. Ah, yes. That's what we need right there. Perfect. Boom. Oh no. Oh, that sucked. Um Oof. I don't think I brought my splints with me. Shoot. Uh, will a first aid kit do it? No. Hmm. Whoa. Infested cash? That's pretty cool. All right. Uh, let's drop... Just drop some wood. Oh! I want to sell that. I don't want to read it. Oh, splints are handcrafted? Really? Oh, look at that. Cloth, wood, and duct tape. Okay, so we can't do that right now, but it's good to know. Okay. Return to trader! Great, let's do just that, since we're really hurting right now.
We'll also collect all the water we can, make a bunch of new water. We also have a ton of raw meat that we can turn into food and bacon and things like that, which would be good. What is this? A potato plant. Okay. I wonder if we can make any interesting veggies. Oh, wait, we can't get... What is this? Oh, this is nitrate. I need rotten flesh. Is there a way for me to get that here? I don't think so. All right, let's ride back and turn this in. And then we'll, uh, we'll, we'll go from there. Mm-hmm. They go to the end game dungeon and once human? No. That's saying I have five. Oh. Um. I, I do, I do. I need a bunch. I need like seven per farming thing. So what I need to be doing is every time we see one of these, oh, anytime we see one of these, um, these bodies in the ground, I need to be harvesting them. I think with a bone knife, somebody was saying, let me see if there's one in here we can do. There's bodies that are already on the ground, not from other zombies. And I need to be harvesting those bodies every time I see them. Oh, I thought there was one in here. I guess there's not. That's too bad. All right, let's go for now. Oh, you can also harvest them, uh, harvest it off the birds. Really? I didn't know that. Okay, good to know. Yeah, if, if you harvest off of the zombies themselves, it doesn't really do much. Like the ones you kill, I say. Yeah, it doesn't really do anything. You can't really... You, you, it, the game doesn't really seem to want you to farm zombies for parts, basically. This game looks a lot better than a few years ago. Yeah. Yep. I played this game uh, for the first time. Like a, I did a, a big play through this game. God, the mods would have to help me. I want to say like four or five years ago. Long time ago. And uh, when I played it, it was... It was... It was fun. It was okay. Like I would by no means say it was amazing. But, you know, it was it was a really solid game. I do remember specifically when I played that it was very Minecrafty. Like back back when I played, you could easily tell that the entire world was made out of Minecraft blocks. Like they they didn't really do a good job of hiding it. Um, but these days, like if I were to just run through this game and not really do any deconstruction or anything, they did such a great job at making voxels look organic. Um, arguably one of the better games that has tried that in my opinion. So it's it's kind of awesome. They did they did really well with that. Fluorescent says, "Am I made of uh, mine, Minecraft blocks? You are. Yeah, all of us are. Actually, we're we're all voxel based creatures." Oh, hi. Boop. Yeah, you fell. Here. Anyway. Let's go. All right, so to get back, we need to go out like this way. This will be the first time we've gone down this road, which will be fun. Excuse me. Oh, that does a lot of damage to us. Jeez. I remember your opening slash closing clip of 7D2D where you looked like a hobo and were running away from a horde of same looking zombies in a super desolate setting with nothing but dirt. Yeah, sounds about right. Yep. You disassembled an entire van into your bag and then jumped on your bike and rode off? Yep. That I did. What's up, guys? Hey guys, I need to take a quick AFK. Mods, you know what to do. I gotta go uh, bring a guy in and let him know the situation and then come back here. So I'll be right back. Uh, quick heads up, in about 20 minutes, we're gonna be doing Chain Together for the first time with Alex from Adrenas. So this'll be a thing. I'll be back in a sec. Yeah, sorry, I had to pop AFK for a second. So basically, um, 
we're in the final throes of uh, fixing slash changing a bunch of the uh, random stuff that we uh, that, that has been popping up in the course of us owning this house for the last few years. So we have some plumbers here finishing up one of the areas, doing all that stuff. Fun, fun. Stuff you say? I do. I do. We're dealing with multiple stuffs right now. Mm -mm. Multiple stuffs. Just going to run into that car real quick. Like a boss. One day it'll all be fixed one day. Is there water again? Yes, believe it or not. But that's, you know, the joys of, of home ownership. We're not going to get into it right now. I'll get into it when it's fixed and done. Yeah. Mm-hmm. How about things, all things completed? Pretty much 95% of things are completed. Yep, we're just finishing up the last little bits. I will say all the other stress that the house has caused has definitely made it times like this a lot easier. Yeah, that's for sure. Old house is never done. Not wrong, not wrong. I think coming to accept that was also a big, a big step forward. <laughs> yeah. That's a... Sparky bike. Interesting. Can we harvest honey off of a, uh, like bees or something? Oh, jar of honey right there. I definitely want that. Let's see. Uh, let's drop that for now. All right, let's see. Sure. Okay. Can I fix this bike? Hold on. How do I pick it up? Take. Oh. Oh, I can modify it. Okay. Um. Okay, that's a drop. How do I actually, like... I guess it gets down here. Okay. Here. Oh, that's it. That's all we had to do. That was it. That was super easy. Okay, cool. I definitely thought it was more involved than that. Oh, it didn't repair it all the way. Hmm. Interesting and rude. Both. Yep. Yep. <clears throat> The house is done when soon is here, pretty much. Yes, can confirm. Accurate statement. Apparently didn't have enough kits. Oh, I did. It repa it, I repaired one time for it looks like what's about 50%. Oh no. Oh Lord, here we go from Storm Talon. I feel ya. Having the bathroom on my end of my house redone because a leak caused a hole in the floor. Everything got ripped out of it yesterday. The floor is being replaced today. I'm sorry to hear, brother. That is rough. Yeah, we're, 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 what we're dealing with right now, uh, super briefly, is it looks like the very last six inches of a dormer may have not properly been sealed. And so water has been coming in at the very corner of a dormer, but only a little bit over the last like year. And when it rains a lot, then it, it it's making the very top of the drywall of the bathroom under it wet. And uh, that caused some some black mold to grow on the roof. So, and when we first saw the black mold, we were like, what the heck? And then we like treated it and washed it off and everything. Um, and then the second time we were like, oh, we got a leak. <laughs> so we got to figure this out. So, so now we have to, we got to seal the leak, which is probably going to happen this week after they figure it out. It's very tiny because it's been up there. And then we have to rip all the, we've got like, Three little spots of drywall that'll need to come out, get everything cleaned up. Oh yeah, don't do that. And and then we'll, you know, fix it up. But hey, we've done this before. It's happened before, it'll happen again, probably. So, you know, part of owning a house, little things happen and you fix them up. Yep. Mm -hmm. I am so glad to see your face. I, I am so face. glad well, to see you that too. Was fast. Yeah, what's up, buddy? Job. Okay. Hi, everybody. Thank you for hanging tight. 
Okay. Probably should have stopped by my house first, but that's all right. We can we can make it work. Um let's see. Could drop a little cornmeal, maybe? That would be good. Oh, we got Madrinas in like five minutes. Great. Um Okay. So I guess <clears throat> probably this. What do you guys think? Do you play Spectre to Vibe when it releases? Oh, absolutely. Yes. I am. Uh, I'm definitely planning on that. I'm actually uh, um, an investor in that game. Yep. We're going to get this. Doop, doop, doop. Need some relief? Yeah, I really liked what I heard Jeff's about what about that game. Specifically because I like the idea that it's a it's a first person shooter designed specifically for, you know, wildly competitive angles. But at the same time, the the main new innovation that it's bringing in is far more cerebral than Twitch based, and I really like that. I think that's cool. So, um I'm looking forward to trying it. And I'm hoping it works as well as I think it might work. Mm-hmm. Could be very fun. What's the name of the game? Um, Spectre Divide. Yeah, it, it's basically it's a first person shooter, except and it's a it's a first person competitive shooter. But the thing that makes it really interesting is that you um you have like this clone that you can use at any point. And you can and switch to your clone whenever you want to. And if you die on a character and your clone is up, then you become your clone. So the way that that makes it so interesting is it's like if you have multiple control points, you can use your clone to cover both of them. You can switch back and forth whenever you want. You can, you know, hide in an obvious area and then put your clone around a corner. So they like charge you and you like switch to your other. Like it's it's it adds this entire new thing to the um the whole the whole f gameplay loop that I find very interesting. So I'm very interested to see if it'll work. We always need to hurry back soon. Cuz I love seeing nice innovations you. like that in the genre. So yeah. That's why I invested and I am I'm super interested to see how it's going to turn out. Mm -hmm. You can be your own teammate kind of. Mhm. Mm yeah. I said cerebral because I like adding eyes to words. Yep. Not cerebral. Cerebral. Mm hmm. Kind of like that portal shooter game? Kind of. Kind of. Yeah. Trying to be in caster in that game would be wild. Yeah, dude. It, it would be. No question. It's going it, to, again, just another interesting evolution. We're going to have to see how that works. Hey, dessert. What's up, buddy? How are you? How are you? Midnight Heart. Oh, the best. The best. Yep. Now people can now that people complain about their teammates being bad, can't blame anyone but themselves. Well, it's still it's still a three by three shooter. So yeah. Is there a reason you're not healing yourself? Uh yes, because I don't like to succeed. Mm -hmm. How come you're driving on a bike and not a motorcycle? Because I do not have a motorcycle yet. What game were we just talking about? Uh, Spectre Divide. Mm -hmm. Steroids will allow you to uh, ignore bone breaks. Really? I think we, we may have some steroids back at our base. Look into that. Watching the co rerun the other day while he was playing Mass Effect Andromeda and he talked about it being a trilogy. Yeah. Mass Effect Andromeda will always, always make me sad. Yep. Unfortunate. Any plans for Sea of Stars? Uh, I'd like to one day. That's That one's definitely on the list. Yeah. The list. PM. Speaking of which, though, it is time for us to switch over to whatever the hell this is we're doing this afternoon. <laughs> okay, give me one.